Let's go over this one too. So whatever you may have gotten, again, we're just going to check this, all right? So let's look at the Pythagorean theorem originally, which is c squared equals our a squared plus b squared. By the way, if you prefer it to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared, just so it's alphabetical, that's up to you, okay? Because it doesn't really matter. Now, in this problem, we know that the hypotenuse is 20. And it tells us that the two legs are equal length. But it didn't tell us the length of either. So instead of using a and b, I'm going to use x. But uh, it's the same value for both, both legs. So when we add this, I've still got this 20 squared. But this is going to equal now, I have to have two of these x squareds, like this. Now, I just want an x squared. I don't want two x squareds. So I would divide both sides by 2. Oh, um, square the 20 first. Point out on, on this one, what we may want to do on this is just to make it easy. We would just do 20 divided by 2. But by the order of operations, we've got to square that first. So that really should be a 400. 20 times 20, okay? So then I've got uh, 200 out of that. And that should equal, now I'd have an x squared. And to get rid of the square, I'm just going to square root both sides. So I got x equals the square root of 200. Now let's look at that a little bit closer. The square root of 200 uh, we're just seeing if we can simplify this any further. So uh, I'm going to get 4 times 50. That seems pretty good. And then we, I guess we can do a 5 and a 10 and another 5 and a 10. A uh, 2, rather. And 4 splits up into 2 and 2. So... I've got a pair of twos and a pair of fives. So this would be two times five times the square root of two. That's the remaining value here. And two times five is 10. So I got 10 times the square root of two equals our x. And yes, this is in feet. All right, now, of course, if you plug this x value in back up here at the top, then you should get a true statement as well. But some of you may have looked at this and done it pretty quickly, right? The square uh, 200 is the same as 100 times 2. So it's kind of like taking the square root of both of these. The square root of 100 is 10. The only reason I point that out is because the square root of 100 is pretty common, commonly known that it's 10.